that era also saw a big s- stock market scandal yeah. in which the finance minister manmohan singh the iconic finance minister uh, went through real tough troubling times he was called by the uh, securities committee the that that uh, inquiry committee the joint parliamentary committee that looked into the security scam uh, uh, it found that the finance minister was sleeping finance minister uh, and he was deeply aggrieved he, he had put in his papers and narasimha rao was not in a position to accept that he sat on that uh, paper and would not respond to manmohan singh but manmohan singh had stopped going to his office okay and then he one day the prime minister went to parliament after that debate he announced that you know uh, manmohan singh is not guilty he has not made any money or anything on this uh, and uh, i have told him that he should continue as the finance minister of the country and that's how the controversy ended uh, so manmohan singh uh, was truly a finance minister who changed india changed indian economy and at the same time he he faced a lot of controversies also and uh, can you tell us more as you mentioned in your book about the scandal like what happened and uh, how did manmohan singh get involved in it well uh, manmohan singh was not involved yeah uh, uh, it was under the watch of manmohan singh and the finance minister Uh, that uh, stock market operators led by Harshad Mehta, uh, they use the banking system uh, to to uh, raise loans against uh, what is called the bankers' receipts and play the stock market. So what was happening was the stock market was was bullish, the stock prices were going up, uh, but the the fueling of the stock market was largely because. of these stock market operators using the banking sector money to buy buy up stocks the mistake of the finance minister was uh, to have uh, uh, made a statement in parliament that a finance minister cannot lose his sleep just because the stock market price is going up or going down he did uh, ask his officers ask sebi to look into the causes of this uh, sharp spike uh, but uh, he uh, uh, he did not uh, follow up uh, adequately enough uh, and simultaneously what happened was when the scam the security scam came out uh, the stock markets fell uh, there were this allegation by harshad mehta that he had given money 1 crore rupees in his suitcase to the prime minister at his residence now it was a, an allegation that was made by harshad mehta so so it became a political controversy it was an economic controversy and manmohan singh's uh, 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 failure was not to have anticipated it not to have taken adequate steps in 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 preventing that scam instead probably letting it uh continue for a while uh so so i think uh, he was uh, uh found uh, you know uh, uh wanting in in the role of a finance minister in addressing the queries but he he there was no need for him to resign because personally he was absolutely clean he was honest uh but uh, the argument was that even if a scam takes place under your charge the finance minister should be morally responsible so that was why there was this demand that manmohan singh should quit uh, there was instances cited and which i have referred to in my first volume about tt krishnamachari another finance minister who had apparently uh, had uh, had uh, allowed uh, uh, life insurance corporations money uh, to be loaned to a stock market operator called haridas mundra uh, so that he could shore up his stock prices now even then there was a committee that was set up uh, the chagla commission was set up and the chagla commission found that the finance minister was not uh, not guilty of making money but he cannot be fully exonerated because of responsibility so at that time nehru accepted uh, uh, tt krishnamachari's resignation 
uh, in this case, when Manmohan Singh put in his papers after that JPC report, uh, Narasimha Rao did not accept the resignation. So that's the difference. Uh, of course, uh, critics would say that Manmohan Singh should not have continued beyond that. But I think uh, at that point in time, as long as there was no uh, clear uh, proof of his uh, having done something uh, malafide, uh, I don't think there, there should have been any reason to believe that he should quit.